So today we're going to look at uh, the commutative property both for addition and multiplication. The commutative property states that you can add two numbers like 3 plus 5 and it would be the exact same amount if you add the, added them up as 5 plus 3. Um, so we'll just prove it now. Here's my 3. And here's my 5. Okay. So what's 3 plus 5? Add it up. And you should get 8. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Okay, now let's try 5 plus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3. I mean, even visually you can see this 3 plus 5 right here is the same as the 5 plus 3. So the answer is 8 equals 8. Okay? We could do the same thing with multiplication now. The commutative property works for that too. You could commute the 2 and the 5. 2 times 5 equals 5 times 2. So let's try it. Um, this will be my 2 times 5 over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's a group of 5, and it's 2 times 5, so I'm going to make 2 groups of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's my 2 groups of 5. What's 2 times 5? It's the same thing as 5 plus 5. That's right, it's 10. And now let's check the other side. The other side just commutes the numbers. And instead of two rows of five or two groups of five, we're going to do five groups of two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's one, two, three groups. Two, that's four groups of two, four times two, and there's five times two. And what do you get? Ten. So two times five is the same as five times two. And that's the commutative property. It shows that regardless of the order for multiplication or addition, you can flip the numbers around and you'll still get the same answers in your equation.